Our talks and lectures benefit from having uh, nice illustrations, but so many images we find on the web have tight restrictions on their use. Uh, here's a way to find a good source of images that are uh, less tightly controlled. Go to Google and why don't I type ancient Olympics? Any images uh, something to do with that? Now, uh, this is our usual web search, but let's click on images. So we're only searching images. As we look across here, Google finds a number of images, but let's not just look for all images. Let's um, click on search tools and now usage rights. Label for reuse. It lets, uh, this is going to steer us toward things that are not so tightly controlled. As we slide over the images, we can see the website. And if it's Wikipedia, that's uh, going to be one of our best options. So let's look at this very first image here and see what uh, uh, what its terms are. So if we click on it, it pops up uh, a larger version of the image. We want to find out more details about its usage. So we'll click on visit page. So here is a, in fact, a, a Wikipedia web page that includes it. Let's scroll down to that image. There it is. Let's click on that image. And finally, more details. This little process works on pretty much any image in Wikipedia. We're now in the Wikimedia section of that. And every image in Wikipedia has a page like this. It's got various sizes of the image that you can download. So choose the one you want. To download one of these images, we'll just slide the mouse over the resolution we want. Um, I'll just go for the highest resolution one right there. Right click. I'm in Firefox. And then save link as. This will save that image to my hard drive wherever I want. Down below it has licensing terms. This says public domain, so uh, we're free to use it without any restrictions at all. Oftentimes, you will see uh, the restriction attribution. You must cite the creator. Uh, it may, there may be uh, attribution share alike. Uh, that means that whatever we're creating with that image must be licensed under the very same terms um, as the image or similar terms to the image. That's it. It's a good way of finding uh, images that you're free to reuse at will. Thank you.